<laughs> Are you sick a little bit? A little bit, got some sinus like problems. But it's all right. Okay. How's your business going? It's going really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product a design now. Again. Furniture really? design, oh, yes. Wow. Very excited. Got two prototypes and they seem to be really nice. Oh, Everybody brilliant. likes them. But a more importantly, actor. how many followers nice. you got on your Honestly Designed Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. Just 1,000 at the moment, but well, I that's hope we get good. more. Wicked. And I'm sorry I missed your birthday. I'm just, oh, yeah. the office, you know, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Okay, it was a really nice party. Hmm. Yes. Well, I wasn't there, but, but it's not all bad. Because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. You ready? She wasn't the first, wasn't I she? I think so. I remember her voice. <laughs> Raccoon. Gift a game on Steam. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Look, you've been wasting a lot of time with this uh, design business. So I've got your present. In you've got a Steam account now. And Steam I've, account. Yeah, and I've gifted you this game. Check it out. Mm. So basically you're a dick, balls and an asshole, and you need to take your dick and fuck the other asshole. It's called genital jousting. Dick. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it's your kind of thing, because you like mm. Yeah? You like it? Because I like dicks, yeah? Well, who doesn't, right? Mm. That's true, everyone mm. likes dicks, including men. I don't think I understand it. So how oh, am I play it together? To well, you control the dick, you know, you go around to get to the asshole, fuck the asshole. The other guy's trying to do it to you and, you know, you can play multiplayer mm, and all that. Very exciting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very intellectual as well. I think my design is interesting. Couldn't you do some design, interior design or product design game nah, for me? Nah, just play this genital oh, this jousting you... shit, man. That's what I do. You okay. know me. <laughs> mm. Wait, why when the, like, is this the office supposed to be? I like this one too. Do you like it? Give him a computer game. Give on him Steam. a computer game. Mm -hmm. I mean, she might love computer games. I could be wrong. She could love them, in which case it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. What but if she doesn't? A, well, then it's not a good gift if she doesn't like computer what games. What if she doesn't, but you want her to like them? Then I think you're kind of. No, it's still not very good. It's a very selfish present. Okay, what if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? What if she doesn't have something to play out on? What if it's my game and you gift it this holiday season? Oh, it's the best present ever! Is that the right answer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there she is. Craigasm. This is great, you know, and I'm happy we can still be friends after, um, you know, when we had sex. Yeah? yeah. You remember, yeah, yeah that time, yeah. like in my house and we had some jinks and. Yeah. When you just broke up and oh yeah, she was a friend, now member. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I see what you what you mean. We did it, boys. Okay, we uh, had sex. Uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a oh, big day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She good? Oh, she's really smart. I think she's going to be great. Yeah. I hope so. Hope mm -hmm. she can work it out. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Here we go. Wow, what a nice set. <laughs> Sarah, could you come in, please? <laughs> Milady. Okay, well, it's your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Mm, nothing too hard. Let me ask you to... The first work for you, for your new sexual will be sexually show her how to staple properly. Tell her you can't focus on work because you're thinking about fucking her. Ask her to crack some contract and arrange meeting. Hello, sir. To take your dirty laundry to dry cleaners. The previous one helped Create me. Create a situation in order to uh, surreptitiously so check her out, check her out her ass. Let's check out our ass, boys. I know. Look, I've got some uh, files, yeah? I just had this big pile. It was really disorganized. And if you can organize them, it would be great. So just into different, you know, mm -hmm. piles okay. or whatever, like, you know, the FDA stuff, the different 
uh, various things. So I've just put them all on the floor because there wasn't much space on this big desk. So uh, okay. do you think you can do yeah, it? I'll yeah, I'll do that. Just um, get in there and... Wait, well, hold up. There we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You got them? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, um... Actually, they're not that important. Just uh, put them somewhere in your desk. Um, okay. All right, thank you. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from my office days. When uh -huh. I was uh, 18 years old, I worked for a software company called Autonomy in right. Cambridge, England. And the director put a bunch of stuff in the corner and then asked the sexy temp to kind of pick it up and he was just watching her do it. So it's actually a true story. And she but was just being polite and helpful in the office. She had to I do can't wait job, for her so what's episode. she going to say? No, I'm not going to pick it up. Is that what we're doing now? No, everyone kind of knew that it was a, a way to just check Meet out her I'm lady. sure they told her as well. So is that a good thing for a boss to do? No. Don't well, I suppose do she it. doesn't know, but don't obviously do it because you're a nice Gentlemen. Very bad. Okay. Mr. Lorena, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? <laughs> Professional. Uh, <laughs> correct tone to take with her. Professional because it's an office. Sexual because it's your company and you can do what you want. Flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of relationship. It's a lot of mail, yeah? Yeah. Quite big? Yeah, big. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you can do with it. What? Just arrange it. You think you can do that? Yes, sure. Yeah, I bet you could. Yep. Okay. Well, go on then. <laughs> Normally it's okay, obviously, to be flirty and cheeky. Um, in the office, you have a few reasons why not to do that. So one that I would give is that um, you're going to be exposed over time, so you don't need to rush it, and you can kind of wait till you sense that there's something there. Yeah, you don't want to rush into it, get the wrong idea. You should be professional. Absolutely. Yeah, and she'll lose respect if you're not professional. <laughs> Mr. Lorena. Yeah, what's going on? I have Thomas Green on the phone for you. No, wait, wait. Hi, hey Thomas, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, no, you're no, gonna no, get No, 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 that's just rumours by Ash shit. banking so for that. Who's pushing down the share price? Three thousand percent. No, no, no. We only raised the price on that drug two thousand eight hundred and something, eight hundred twenty-three, something like that. But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. No, uh, fake news. Look, that's fake news. <laughs> I've, I've got to go. I'm sorry, I've got a meeting. Yes, yes, I understand. Another time, another time. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. Sarah, get in here, please. <laughs> Tell her it's not a big problem, but to be more careful in the future. Tell her it's totally fine, no biggie. Make her cry to teach her lesson. Tell her to book a hotel for both, of, for both at lunchtime to make it up to you. C or D, boys. Give her the C, make her cry, or give her the D. Do you realize what you just done? You put through this fucking guy, Thomas Green, he's on the do not answer list, right? 20 people are on there. All these shitty journalists, all trying to dig and find out stuff and publish shitty articles. And you put him straight through to me, the CEO. Do you know how uncomfortable that was for me? It's my first week. It's going to be your fucking last week if you carry on with this shit. 
Your job is easy. You answer the phone, you do some filing, you do emails. It's not rocket science. Oh, you're crying now. Well, <laughs> fuck off out of it. And if you answer the phone again and put these fuckers through, I'll cut your hand off and send you to Saudi Arabia. I'll piss off. <laughs> Bad, sorry. Yeah. Don't need to make her cry, right? Never make anyone cry. What about me? I might cry. Okay, let's take the real one. Oh, wait, was it D, the real one? Sarah, do you know what you just did? Yeah? This guy, Thomas Green, is a real asshole. Okay, so he's on the list. You've got it there somewhere in your desk, right? Yeah. You know that one, 20 people not to yes, put through? All right, he's going to probably write a bad article or whatever. Don't worry, you just started. You Everyone can only can choose make once, one or two Chad. mistakes, it's all right. But in future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy. He's in a meeting, he's out, that kind of thing, all right? But don't worry too much, just, you know, be careful. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be all right. more careful in the future. That's right. Okay, you don't worry fuck. about it. You're just a secretary. Do your job. Just answer phones, how could it harder be? That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance. If they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but, you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally, you know, you respect him in his position. Mr. Lorena? Yeah? Yes. You have three meetings coming up today. Okay. First one with the FDA guy. All right, I'm going to need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second one with R&D manager. Give her a rating, Okay. Boys. He's useless. What's the next one? And the last one is with Phil Beckman. Okay. Now, you know I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. So you know how he likes his coffee. He likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. Tell us some juicy gossip about the marketing director. That's nice. Gave her personal task to perform for you and reveal some personal info. Tell her to wear some sexy clothes to work. Tell her you had to really, uh, you had a really sexy dream about her and described in graphic details. I can only choose C or D, chat. I can only choose one of them. D. I've seen you reading those magazines there. Um, do you know anything about dream analysis? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like that stuff, like if, you're, what is it, if your teeth fall out in your dream, then you're going to die or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, help me with this. I, I had a dream last night. Mm -hmm. I was lying on the beach, eyes closed, sun beating down, sound of the waves, <laughs> giant erection. And then I just heard some footsteps. <laughs> Someone pulled down my shorts. Then they sat on my dick started riding and I heard your voice and then I opened my eyes <laughs> bam there you were well, what do you think that dream means this is so so disgusting yeah what does it mean it means go fuck yourself okay <laughs> hmm. that's one interpretation okay <laughs> Completely inappropriate. Ah. All right, I'll take it. You've I been wanna, working here for a while it. now, Sarah, and I've noticed something. It's a the little bit personal, but basically, these outfits you're wearing, they're not really working, okay? You look like a cross between Hillary Clinton and that. Angela Merkel, German one, you know? So we're going to have to sort this out. I need you to take the skirt up quite a lot. You know, I need just a little bit of arse cheek to be visible. And I uh, don't know what to do upstairs. I mean, you've got some boobs, right? Push up bra, low cut top, pum. There we go. 
All right. You can have some budget from the company to go shopping. You know what? Yeah. You have to send an official request to the HR department first. HR department? Fuck that. It's my company. I'll tell them right now. Sarah, get HR. HR. <laughs> Sally. Sally, get in here. Sally, the HR one. Get her someone. This could be a problem with uh, HR and maybe... Um, yeah, I'd be on the phone to HR pretty quickly. Could it escalate, right? Definitely, and it's not going to end well for him. It was Batman. I always wanted to reveal gossip. Get a personal touch to perform for you and reveal some personal information and uh, get closer to her. Sarah, you know my mum calls all the time, right? Yeah. So you know we're pretty close. And it's her birthday coming up. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to ask for your help. Um, it needs to be something, obviously, you know, we can buy her something extravagant. Mm -hmm. But she really likes it when I'm thoughtful and, you know, you know me better by now. So yeah. could you just think a little bit and see if you have any ideas and then we can have a little brainstorm, you know, and see what yeah, we can sure. get her. Yeah, I'll do that. We've still got a month, but, yeah. no. Okay. All right, thank I'll you very much. That's right, so it's already been a little while, so revealing a little bit of personal information at this time is cool, and it's, uh, it's not super personal, it's just the right amount of personal. Yeah, and you're not really, you're, you're seeing how she acts and finding out something about her, yeah. choosing gifts, a bit about her character. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can learn about her character by what she comes up with. Yeah. Good morning, Sarah. Mm. Morning, Mr. Lorena. Oh, call me Richard. Okay. Call me Richard? What? Ask when it was the last time she had a proper seeing to in the bedroom. Hmm. Tell her about how her weekend was. Talk about her weekend was. Talk about a girl you fucked over the weekend with explicit detail. Complain that you had to work over the weekend to get sympathy. Right. So how was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? You know, mine, it was hard in many ways, right? Because first I had to do all this, um, you know, finishing the investor presentation, all that rubbish. But Saturday night, this chick came around, Dorothy, oh my God, her body's amazing. God. Obviously she came to bang, so that was all as usual. But get this. She wanted it up her ass. She was so we had oh, anal. Well, no, yeah. no, but stop do you it. Do this it? is do you disgusting. Like no. Do you like? You don't like it? Maybe no. try. I'm gonna take you to court for that. All right. As long <laughs> as it's after we do it, then I don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna take you to court. It's normal office conversation, no? I don't think so, uh, and certainly not the explicit detail part. Ah, that's the problem. Talk about her, that's the key, boys. Talk about the woman. How was your weekend? It was fun. Um, I went to go karting with oh, yeah? my friends. Yeah, oh, I'm so surprised. Fun. Yeah, you like racing and stuff. Yeah, I do. Actually, mm. driving is my passion. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. And how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. I had to finish some work and then just yeah, relax, watch the movie. and right, It was pretty good. I'm, I feel rested. But I didn't know we had a speed freak in the office. Well, now you know. I also like car smiley face. This seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, agreed. It's not too uh, personal, but for a Monday morning in an office, it's, uh, it's definitely okay. Um, but it might reveal something that, you know, is, uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe you have some common ground somewhere, something you share in common that you can talk about. Sarah, how long have you been working for us now? Uh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I think you're doing great so far. You know, Thank everything's you. cool, pretty much. And I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what, how do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop. And mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in <laughs> all areas of the business. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> Oh, tell her that uh, the working world is really for men and that she should be focused on finding a husband. True. 
Tell her she gets an A plus for filing and a F minus for sucking your dick. Tell her she needs to set her sights lower. Give her career advice and mentor her. You know, it's a bit difficult because on one hand, you're very good. Yeah, nice telephone voice. Hello, this is Sarah. Richard and Co, lovely, all of that stuff. Filing, A to Z, perfect. But we've got problems, you know. Conference call, uh, question from Morgan Stanley. Why aren't you there sucking my dick under the table? Excuse me? Yeah, you need to improve. Otherwise, you can be secretary forever. Go fuck yourself, you're so disgusting. What's this, your diary where you talk about me? Yeah, it's just some shit meetings and stuff. <laughs> this one a bit crude? <laughs> yeah, really oh, crude. Oh, fucking Tyrone, man. We... Tyrone. <laughs> He's all giving a look. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here, here's another <laughs> one, dude. Here. Here you go. <laughs> I have many friends. Many, many Sarah, friends. you know what? Um, the person that had your job before you, they're actually doing really well now in another business. So there are lots of opportunities. I, I didn't know you had that kind of ambition, but here's what I can do. You know, we've got all the different departments here, everything from IT to marketing to the research and development guys. So why don't I invite you to more meetings, more events, and that way you're just going to learn about all the different sides of the business and we can see what you like, see how things go and yeah, maybe Maybe we can find something better for you in the future. How does that sound? Really good, thank you. Many friends. Many, many friends. Nice. That's the right option. And for all guys that are kind of older and have a lot of experience, I'm and, old and experienced. You know, maybe in a, in a good job or just have some have amount of job. knowledge, uh, demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious and he's also ambitious for her as well. Sarah, are you there? Yes, Richard. Mm, Sarah, invite her to a fancy business networking event tomorrow. Ask what she's wearing right now. Jerk off on the phone to all right. Okay. Sarah, tell me, what kind of food do you like? Food? Yeah, yeah just tell me. Um, I don't know. I like rice. Do you like lollipops? No. What's that right. sound? Nothing. Just keep talking. Tell me something else. Um, well, I'm on speaker and with Phil Beckham at the moment. With who, sorry? Phil Beckham. Okay, cool. All right, catch you later, yeah? Bye. <laughs> this actually happened. Really? Yeah, uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Sarah, what are you wearing right now? Um, one what, moment. What colour underwear? Can you check the label, Mr. Brand Lorena? Cooler, brand cooler, I bought. What? <laughs> Little bit lewd behaviour. Not appropriate lewd. in the office, right? Definitely not appropriate in the office. Sarah, are you free tomorrow? There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry bigwigs there. It's going to be super, super cool. Do you want to yeah. come? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. Okay, great. Yeah, what is she going to do? She's fucking secretary. So this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little bit between office and social. And you could do it with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip. But a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it on professional, Definitely. just in case. I'm still moving in, boys. I'll bathe at the networking event. Be slightly flirty, play cool when there, get drunk and make a move. Right, be, well, let's be flirty. So it's the first time out of the office 
slightly flirty? Mm, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity, but then I don't know. It just depends on the woman, maybe. It's also that it's the first time, yeah. right? So to kind of get through that in a professional way is... I, I think, think it's a big tick if you can do that. Hold up. So you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Um, no, it was fine. Uh, he was kind of flirting, but I guess that was just the drinks. <sighs> he probably drinks too much. Yeah, maybe. Normal conversation. Two friends here. Very natural. Okay, marketing team. It's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So, who has a fantastic idea? Mr. Laruina. Gerald, okay. I've got one. I've been working on a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. <laughs> I have a three posts a day with the funny quotes, health tips, and picture of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media, so we'll gain a lot of shares would increase our likes. I'll send some concepts. Uh, what do you think about this idea? Well, uh, it's about going to be cost of about $15,000 per month. Where's the accent from? To get up to 100,000 followers within six months. Wank, masturbate into plant pot. Estonia? Yeah, probably something like Romania, some bullshit. Smarter persuade I want to your view, give him a big slap and fire him, agree with the guy because you're stuck agree, agree, agree. you stuck with the guy, which is a stupid idea. <laughs> okay, Gerald. Alright, the rest of you. So you want to see what happens if you bring me this kind of fucking dog shit ideas, yeah? Look what happens to Gerald and this is going to be you. Right, you cunt. You're fucking fired. More than that, you can fuck off, alright? Take your shit and get out. Five minutes. <laughs> Security, take this wanker out. Jared, how are you? Are, are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? It's hurting Alphanus. He has to go home to Estonia now. Pepper hands. Stupid idea, but too much, yeah? Ah, oh, too much. Do you want to know what I think of that idea, Gerald? Everyone, you want to know? Yeah, was it a good idea? Do you want to know? All right, check it out. Gerald, this plant is your idea. I'll show you what I think of your fucking idea, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> One that I love. Gachibas. Get back to work. Rip the shirt. So this is a Harvey move, Harvey Weinstein. Ew. Bad for the plant, yeah? Anti-plant, <laughs> mainly is. Anti-plant, anti-everything. Pepper hand, Harvey. Smartly proceed everyone to your view, yes. Gerald, I like the direction, but I've got something that I need and all of you need to pay attention to this. Anytime you present me with a spending plan, I need to know how that backs out in terms of revenue. I'm not going to spend 15,000 a month unless it makes at least 15,001, okay? So we need that in all of our plans. Do you know how much a like is worth? If you don't, you've got to find out. If you can't tell me, we don't do it, all right? Now, maybe you want to do something more targeted. Maybe you want to target FDA officials on Facebook. Maybe you want to target people with specific diseases on Facebook. Now, that's a good idea. All right, guys, so think about that. Anyone else got something that we can use?
So yeah, you're using the knowledge again in an attractive way. And uh, it's also important for someone in power not to kind of exercise that power at any given opportunity by crushing, killing and destroying people. It's nice yeah. to, to do it in the right way. And uh, yeah, I think it's attractive. Mm, yes. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? Yeah, time to make Good, a move, boys. Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed, it's though. That, um, I've got a massive wine stain on, on my shirt. It's a disaster. Hold up. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault. It was busy, but we don't need that kind of thing, you know? Wine stains are just never, never a good look. But do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, okay. All sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine stain. No. No, no, I didn't. Very cool. How was the business trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. Ask if she's single. Say she needs to add me on Facebook as a company co policy. Ask if she liked any men at the event and tell why they are useless. Use her for uh, the business trip to find out if she's single. So what did you think of the event? Overall? It was great. Yeah? Well, about my speech? It was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of the other speeches? Well, I liked one guy, Robert Johnson. Uh, he talked about SMM. Uh, pretty boring, no? That speech? Mm, no. I'll tell you something about him. His Excel tables. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty, pretty shit, to be honest. Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. How about how he looked? Mm. He looked okay. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what? I went to the bathroom. He was there next to me. Somehow I looked, I don't know. Tiny little dick. Mine's much bigger. So. Oh my god, <laughs> you're so mean. Yeah. But what, you <laughs> what is your problem? I you don't want to fuck him now though, do you? I also yeah. look... I can't help Boom, Excel tables. Tiny so dick. Exactly oh, oh. Rival gone. Isn't? You gotta so compare. it's always unattractive in this situation to be, you know, kind of uh, getting jealous about other guys, right? It's yeah. good to just be cool. Yeah. You don't want to start off being <laughs> jealous. It's not attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better? Tyrone. It's time to ask, boys. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you something. It's, you know, just updating the employee files here. Oh, no. So, um, are you single? Like, what's your... You're not married, are you? I can tell, but I need to know if you're dating anyone. Why is that important? Ah, we I just uh, keep detailed you. files and employees is to do with employee morale and oh, things like I that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, I am single. You are? Yeah. Book? Okay, that's good to know. I'll update that. And you, you have been for a while? Mm, yeah. Quite Excellent. a while. Okay, um, that's all for now. Thank you. Well, why is she single though? Uh huh. Maybe she's crazy. Exactly. Maybe she's like that stalker lady. Nicest. So, yeah, Straight it's off the bat. never good, right? So, a lot of times in the game, we've got asking, you know, finding out if someone's single because that's obviously that me of me. something that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but asking straight up is not good usually, and in the office. No, you can really blur those lines between being professional and actually wanting to start that relationship. It just gets a bit cloudy. I think you've got to be super careful in this situation. No. Sarah, can you come in? Can I make the move? Sarah? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Those short sellers got fucked. We smashed them. Brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. Share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking a money billion. out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. Yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. Tell her that you're not finished with those cocksuckers. Take credit and tell her to book me a spa day. Give her 1,000 and tell her to buy some fancy snacks and wine for everyone. Smack her on the ass and thank for her support. 
So let's arrange a team dinner, yeah? Like Friday night, somewhere nice.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, just pay everyone back. But you know what? What? You also played your part, little Missy. So I want to say thank you for the support. Now you need some legal support. Ooh, I love it. I love it. She's so fiery. Ah, <sighs> sexy bitch. What will I do with her? For a job well done. Just inappropriate. Let's arrange like a team dinner, yeah. Just take everyone out, say thank you for everything. I'm telling you, I'm not finished with those guys.、Yeah? Well, what do you mean? These short sellers. We're gonna take them to the fucking cleaners. We're gonna take every penny, right? We're gonna go after their families, their families' family, and their families' 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 family family. Isn't、right? that too much? We're gonna squeeze them till they bleed <laughs> out of their asses. All right. So don't think this is over. This war has only just begun. Going to crush them little fucks. You with me?、Um, may I leave now? Yeah, sure. Just、uh, look up some addresses. Get their mothers' home numbers. <laughs> It's a little bit of competitiveness. Probably It's okay. Bad thing, yeah. Crushing, killing, destroying, pummeling. Grinding into dust. Yeah, it just gets a bit much, doesn't it? Hmm. Richard,、yeah? everything is arranged. Oh, great! Thank you. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to tell you something、Ooh. that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Oh shit! You make me relaxed. Sleazy. Let's make the sleazy move, boys. Yeah, I feel relaxed. <laughs> I feel happy. It's it's that feeling like at the end of an erotic massage, where you just jizzed everywhere, and you just have that calm, that zen. I know. Ah, you know what I mean? No. No. You don't like erotic massages. No. Hmm. I'm thinking this isn't the best approach to take on that evening. Uh huh. Be more professional, yeah. Professional, yep. Gentlemen, ladies, the other things. Well, sleazy's never good. Never good. I can't think of an occasion where that would work out for you. <laughs> don't be sleazy, boys. Women don't like that. They spoil it. Thank you. Yeah, you know, stressed, happy, all that stuff. Sure, but this is an office. We're professionals. We need to make the money, you know, make business good, increase the drug. I mean, you know, sell lots of pharmaceuticals. And that's really <laughs> what we're here for. So yeah, don't pay attention too much to my mood. It's not really relevant, is it? We all just do our work. True. So by now, it's already been quite a long time, and it would almost be strange, you know, when you've got a long relationship with someone in the office and it just stays professional、mm-hmm. the whole time. It's tricky to kind of then move on, right? Yeah, and it's maybe even a little bit weird, even amongst colleagues. And、it's、also, it means that maybe、chat. she doesn't know, she doesn't get any signals if they're continuously being in that role of boss,、mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Sarah, you know what? What? Let's go for it. Tell her. It's time to have some new responsibility for a job. Undo belt. Cool, coolly, coolly. That's not a word. Coolly invite her on a date. Push her against the wall and kiss her. You know what? I think you're ready for some new responsibilities. Would you agree? You've been working here a while. I don't know. All right, got you something for you. You ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! What's going on? Someone, your... please help! You gotta do it! No, no, no! Someone, please help me! I'm here. No, I just, I just、Come. wanna go home. No, no, you ain't going home. <laughs> That was totally diabolical. Absolutely ridiculous. What? 
I like this one too. Do you like it? Give him a computer game. Give him a Steam. computer game. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I not do Mahmoud now? It's locked. Is this not released yet or what? Need 100%. XQC can't do it either. You need you need to pass for the first three, okay. You, Mr. Go, where do you get this information from? How do you know that? The game's not out yet. Are you just writing in chat because everyone else is? Or you're just mindless sheep or are you an individual, sir? Tell me how you got this information and we'll find out together. I need to pass the first three. How do you know that? Smiley face. It's what you did last time. So you don't know. You don't know. All right. You're just guessing. Oh, let's just do this part. I want to find out. I want to find my other woman. I don't want to leave her. I like the blonde. Uh, here we go. Say, do you already? What? Ignore. Sorry about that. Just some. You know what? It's such a. Li Dude, it's not released. Says on the bottom scene selection. Yeah. Does that mean? Did it say? Did it say that it was only three levels unlocked? Uh, that's why I was asking, because no one knows. Well, as you could probably tell, um, I'm a mumble rapper. Uh? A mumble rapper? You know what that is? What's a mumble you rapper? You don't like rap music, or you don't um, really... I don't really know rap music, but... I give you a yeah. little something. I can erase this? Well, bitch is all trying to swallow this. I feel like I'm fighting an octopus. Thought it was killers, camped out in my bushes, but came to find out it's photographers. <laughs> Flash. Like that. Oh, right. Cool, yeah? Mm. Like, actually... I Cringe. Where was I? And what did you do for? Okay, here we go. Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting's much more interesting, right? Yeah, I. I so much I more varied. So. Mhm. Mm it is That's as right. well. I think with modeling, you just have to stare. Yeah. With acting, you have to feel. We have to show certain personality yeah. and be different characters Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Just feel that emotion. Uh, let's get so late, you're acting. Does that mean you're more interested than usual in, I don't know, like TV shows and stuff? Do you watch well, TV? Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. I, um, I, I like uh, Silicon Valley, actually. That's Is that your favourite? I also favorite. like Silicon. At the moment. In your it's boobs. It's basically like Forehead. really intelligent guys that love technology. Are you like intelligent guys? I do. I I'm love intelligent. intelligent guys. I think you're quite intelligent. Well, I'm not a programmer, but I've got my own kind of You've got business your own intelligence little ways, and street yeah. smarts. Well, I think, you know, I, I can relate to the, the intelligent side because I'm quite intelligent. Mm -hmm. So I need to end up with someone of my standard. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I just love the way they invent things. Um, yeah. And I think I'd be quite good at that as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a, a Silicon Valley's way. What about you? Um... I like, I'm watching Handmaiden, have you seen that? The Handmaid's Tale? Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, that one is messed up actually. It's yeah. quite, um, it's not a comedy obviously, it's like some dystopian parallel future where everything uh, goes wrong, where women, um, when the birth rate just drops near zero, and they round oh, up no. all of the women that can still have babies. Yeah. And they kind of put them with the important men to, to mate. Wow. And it's quite messed up, but it's really, really good and interesting. Have you seen it? No, you I, seen no, it? no, I haven't. Oh, you actually. should check it out. What was this yeah, show called? It sounds quite interesting. I'd have to um, see if I like it. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a little bit for me, but um, yeah, I can always see. Was that a real show? Tell her your latest video was a dating advice for a video for uh, men. Feed her some cake. Hands made tail. Tell her to look under the table for a surprise. Talk about. 
Listen, do you like surprises? Oh my god, I love surprises. All right, check this out. I've got something what? for you. Just have a look. Where? Have what a are look you doing? Under the table. I want to show you what, something. What do you want but... me to go under the table? No, no, just have a little look. Yeah. Lift it up and have a look. Don't. Yeah. Peculiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Surprise. <laughs> Come on. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Oh, yeah? That's you like disgusting. it? Disgusting. Disgusting? I need mean? to wash my eyes out with fairy liquid. Oh <laughs> my goodness. But what's wrong? You don't like dicks? I can't believe you just got your dick out under the table. Well, it didn't impress you and surprise you and delight you. It's disgusting. It is so tiny. Oh, come on, darling. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's so. It's do you know hard. what? It's so mm. grotesque. It's like this small. I. It's not. It's cold and windy and stuff. I, I, I can't be here. I can't go out with a man with a tiny little dick. Shh. Not me. It's just thinking about someone else. Not me. Too real. It was a surprise, but... A diabolical surprise. <laughs> Spike her drink with a drug to make her more... <laughs> hey, check out those people on that boat. See that blue boat over there? Yeah, just over there. That's oh, right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, look at it. Keep looking at that. It's really nice how they're yeah, scrubbing yeah. it. Yeah, it's a really nice boat, right? Would you like a boat <laughs> like that? I mean, is maybe your boat. Did you boat's just put better. something in my drink? Your drink? No, have a drink. It's lovely. Did You're you thirsty. just put something in my drink? Mm -hmm. Did, Did you... you just put something in my drink? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. That's a criminal offence. Maybe try defense. it and see if you taste something or not. That's an offence. I'm going to go and call 999. 911, 999. Whatever it is. <laughs> do you want me to get the police here? Not really. Well, do you want to leave? You it's just tried to spike my drink. Than you have just police. tried to spike my drink. Here we go. Some say drink spike. It. Drink it. Well, I don't, Come on, I don't drink really it. like that tea, you know. I like my English breakfast tea. Drink it, twat face. What? Or leave. How dare she? Drink it or leave. Drink it or leave. Drink it or leave. I'm going to leave. But you get drink out. it and I'll come back in like 10 minutes. Try it, it's lovely. Get lost. Bye. Wanker. Wanker? Shouldn't have done that. Disgusting behaviour. And also very illegal. Just the face, man. <laughs> okay. She's really into me, so I'm gonna feed her some cake. Mm -mm, this cake looks lovely. It does. Wait, come. Why don't you try just a little bit before you try yours? Uh, I'm okay. Oh, come get it. No, no, I'm, I don't really <laughs> like coconut, so. You don't like coconut? No. All right. Mm. Some good stuff. <laughs> so, feeding you cake? No. Feed you not some a fruit? baby. Thank you. But later, if there's some sexual tension. Oh, yeah, I mean, again, I suppose this is why it's orange. I can't really call it. Might work sometimes, yeah. but risky. R risky. Feels bad, man. Oh. Mm. Good, yeah? Do you have any special diet restrictions, you know? Well, like sometimes it's gluten intolerant, but- Sometimes um, only. Yeah. Partial like, gluten intolerance, yeah. yeah. It's like sometimes if I eat too much gluten, then uh, my stomach like becomes a balloon. Okay. So I have to monitor what I eat. All right. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. I've been on the paleo diet before. Oh, that's healthy, oh. yeah. Because in paleo times, everyone lived a long time, so it's good exactly. to make sense to do that. Yeah. And like when you look back, it makes it's sense. literally just vegetables and meat mm -hmm. the whole time. When people Mostly live 30 meat. years old, makes so sense. So I'm just constantly eating meat, which is delicious. Yeah, so, that's great. Yeah. You're going to live a long life. Brad Pitt's 10 minutes yes, seduction. I'm feeling something and I thought it was hunger because, yeah. Oh, and so should, I we, ordered, should we get no, something no, else? I ordered the cake. I thought it was hunger, but actually the feeling is horniness. So I wonder, can you help me? Do you know if there's a good uh, masturbation location around here? 
Just somewhere good to go. A masturbation location. Yeah, just somewhere good, you know, this uh, nice and private but clean and <laughs> maybe with a window where I can see some girls passing or something like that. You know about that? No. Well, think of one and then you can come watch me. So I need to knock one out. Come say. and watch you? Yeah, watch me. <laughs> Be a Ugh. turn on. Ugh. Okay, what's Can you that? go? You're going to make me sick. Why would you be sick, darling? Come on. It's normal, natural, masculine uh, behaviour. He's right. Are you thinking about it? No, I've got sick in my mouth. Oh, that is gross, man. Now I'm going to lose my hard on because of you talking about mm -hmm. sick. I'm going to go anyway. I think down there I can wank off in the bush. <laughs> so this is a funny one, Charlotte, isn't it? It's great. So let me try it with you. So I'm feeling horny, obviously, from this shoe stuff and these guys. So, um, do you know a good masturbation location around here? No? And do you want to come and watch? I mean, I, I, I honestly I don't know if friends. you really want me to answer many, that. Many um, gen genuinely, it's Such gross. Like yeah, happen. and it is actually a real technique that someone teaches. Uh, well, I don't know why they teach it. It clearly doesn't work. Yeah, I agree. That's why it's red. Hmm? Don't do it. I was reading this article, and have you heard of Marcel Proust, the author? No, no, I haven't. Oh, he yeah. wrote a book, uh, Swan's Way, or something, it's a classic, and okay. he was talking about his life, and he came up with this questionnaire where he asked a bunch of questions, and it was actually really interesting. So, for oh, example, wow. the f one of the questions was, what's your idea of perfect happiness? So, Two I women. was thinking about it, and yeah, how would you answer that? Wow, what a question. I'm not to put you on the spot, but I it should know. be easy, right? It's happiness. Um, my idea of happiness would be on my boat, mm. in the middle of the ocean, oh, wow. surrounding myself with Chanel handbags. Not massive waves crashing down, no? No, like no, 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 it's just like a peaceful, Maldives. peaceful like ocean. The Maldives would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. I do love, I actually have a house in the Maldives. Oh, lovely. Um, and I'm just out there and I have my Chanel handbags around. Because <laughs> you need them on the boat. Yeah, so and, but the one, there's just one thing lacking. Like, uh -huh. I, I would like a man yeah? on the boat with me. Should he be like tanned and sitting in his yeah. bathing suit? Yeah, I can be that man. On. With, not with a handbag. <laughs> well, I don't mind. Oh, yeah? He, he can have a handbag and then give it to me. <laughs> ah, a present, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this was a tricky one because we didn't let you know what the question would be, but obviously um, this one's pretty good and can lead to a good conversation. And in general, I would say that if you're going to be going on dates, you should ensure that you have a couple of interesting things to talk about and even having a few interesting questions like this in your back pocket is a good thing to have so that you're not at risk of running out of things to say. No, and it's a great way to open up a conversation where you can maybe veer off onto something else that you both have interest in. Yes. So, Richard, mm -hmm. what's your philosophy on life? Get money, I guess get it's pretty bitches. simple, but it's taken me a long time to get there. But for me, it's all about finding the things I really enjoy in life mm -hmm. and doing more of them and finding the things that I don't like. I used to be bothered all the time with phone calls, um, oh. doing annoying stuff, filling in forms and all of that bureaucracy stuff mm -hmm. I don't like. So uh, just to arrange my life so that I'm happy with the way it is every day and just the, uh, you know, the simple things make me happy. So it's more... What the fuck? Harmonised yeah. and balanced as well. Yeah, and an absence of bad things is, is yeah. more important than having loads of good stuff. You know, if you just get rid of all the things you don't like, then you're left with... Happiness. Yeah, just... Uh, it's magical. The simple kind of happiness that is like contentment every day, so that you don't have uh, depression or stress, that your mood is kind of... I get that. You know. Yeah, I get that. That's magical. It's just how... <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have rather fucked up the ambiance. 
You have, haven't you? My bad. Yes. Oh, You're yeah. bad. Come to me, baby. Yeah, I come to you. Mm, touch me, yeah. Oh, darling. A little massage. Little massage. Mm. Little yeah. hug. Mm. Little hug. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> This is for the grannies. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Granny, hello. Are you okay? Uh, this is awful, but it actually happened as well. Um, when someone fell down the stairs, it was even worse. And um, this stairs person. Stairs are went, funnier. Ah, ha, ha, like that kind of laugh. And then everyone looked and was just silent and shocked. Yes. So, yeah. Horrendous. <laughs> help the granny up, ignore it, and carry on. I hope I won't ever be at all. I want to die young with you. Take out your phone and start filming. <laughs> <laughs> World star, come on. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, move, babe. You need to film it horizontally, yeah, I'm darling. right up in there. Like yeah. that. Yeah, it's true and it's better. You little toe rag. Oi! <laughs> Got your arse, though, on the way out there. Shoot. <sighs> come on, let's go. Are you okay? Let's go inside. She needs water. Oh, poor granny. <laughs> <laughs> when the granny falls over. It's even worse. <laughs> Is she all right there? Is she okay? Hi, we okay? Yeah, get her up. <laughs> Here, Is someone take her granny. No, no, bag. Yeah. Oh, God, poor old lady, yeah? It might be the heat or something. Yeah, it's quite hot. Yeah. Hopefully she's OK. Yeah. I guess it's not a heart attack or something, is it? It's just no, it's not a heart attack. Fun, a funny turn, my granny used to call it. I've yeah. had a funny turn. It's just she's a little funny said. turn. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't think it's anything. <laughs> well, I hope Very not. Very funny. Yeah, she'll be OK. Need some water or something, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, some water. Uh, yes, <laughs> well done for helping the granny and not leaving her there on the floor. You're or... so kind. Yeah, good one, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you need to send me your YouTube link so oh, yeah, I, yeah, can I can do that. DMCA you. You what? You heard about that? No, that's fucked up actually. I had a couple this month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom Wanker used a bit of his music. Copyright strike. And I think it's three and then they shut you down, so. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You okay? Say that you're wearing a medical corset and the doctor said you can finally take it off tonight. Tell her your body's pretty fucked, but your dick's... Your dick works perfectly. It's nothing serious. It's twinge. It happened when I was picking up a babe that was walking out onto the road. Got a few problems to be honest. Like um, in my spine, I've got the L5S1. I've got hernia there, hernias in the neck, and even that middle bit, Jurassic or thoracic, whatever that part of the spine is. And then uh, shoulders, pretty messed up. I can't even open a jar sometimes because just the pain from the shoulder ligaments. But knees are not good, so I can't really walk or run very much. But wow. Um, Ah, but my dick is perfect. Like, don't worry. Like, that's just, that's like super strong. Erection, boom, ding, you know, like a rock. <laughs> and uh, uh, loads of spunk, very strong <laughs> spunk. However they measure it, you know, the spunk ratio or something is very good. Uh, with good mobility, you know, the little guy is wiggling around well so they could get to your eggs and fertilize them whenever they need to. Oh, uh, man, that is gross, that's disgusting. I ain't fertilizing your eggs, even though my dick works really well. 
way, man. Yeah, this game. Crude again? Yeah, it's one of those kind of bad but good dick situations, which is... Uh, Just crude. Crude. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a bit of a problem. Look, but right. doctor gave me this corset. Right. Because it's all okay. my back and spine is fucked up. So it's going to give oh, it. Dear. But the good news is I've been wearing it for weeks. But uh -huh. tonight I can take it off. And that means I can be more mobile, he said, which I guess oh, means that's lovely. That, yeah. yeah. So maybe come to my house. We have a big like ceremony. <laughs> Undress me. Clean a bit with a wet bike because three weeks. Clean. Might be a bit smelly. Just under the corset where it was. And then uh, you I want can, me to clean. And then I can test my new mobility now that you know it's all all right. Because it's been hard three weeks. Couldn't do anything. Mm, all because of feeding squirrels. It? Yeah. But it's such a shame. Where whereabouts is it hurting? Well, not here. That's my stomach. It's like mm. over here on the okay. spine. And yeah. It's about here. Oh. Just, just give me your finger, like yeah, yeah there. That's it. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't really uh, see what's wrong with this one, what do you think? Well, it's just the insinuations are completely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> It's no biggie, it's just a bit of a twinge, you know, in the back. I think it happened, I did some gym and then I went out feeding the squirrels and I'm oh. like bending forward and stuff and yeah. I was like, oh. No, it's something just that, that can happen. Yeah, it'll be all right. And if yeah. not, I'm going to get just uh, get some stem cells and then it's all set. It's amazing. It should be all right. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes a Mona. No, no, guys with physical ailments, you know. Well, ones that whine about it. You don't want to be hanging around with someone who's whining all the time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The other bad thing for my back was um, I was sitting for a long time because I had Chinese lessons. I was I'm learning Chinese. Really? Yeah, because it's a hard uh, language. I think it's the dark souls of languages. It's, so I thought it's ridiculously it hard. Dark souls of languages. Could you say that? Uh, I will say the Chinese language you are very beautiful. You are Fabulous. You are Oh. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. What are you saying? A uh, bunch of different stuff. I said, have you eaten? I said, oh. uh, something about how you look. And oh. I said, like, I speak Chinese, but not very well. And yeah, a few basic phrases. Finally, superficial com com commonality. If you could wake up anywhere in the world, we would be commit a criminal act together to bond with her, hypnotize her with a teacup. Let's see, let me see your bag for a second. Give me it here. Good old days. Um, sure. Kind of Beautiful, isn't light it? Light bags. So lovely. Let me get a little feel. So it's kind of like a baskety thing, yeah? Mm hmm. Well, look, check this yeah. out. What? Put one of these in there. What else? What mm, are you doing? Banana. Why are you taking. Why are you. Listen, why are look. you putting a banana wait, in wait, my wait, bag? Wait. <laughs> We're getting on really well. And I just thought if we commit a criminal act, a small one, then we'll be bonding and it will bring us closer together. Now we're partners in crime, so. But you take it out, not me, obviously. Uh, no. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah? I do not want to meet my partner in prison. Your partner? Okay? I'm your partner in crime. What do you mean? I wouldn't want to meet you at all, or anyone in prison. You okay. don't? Uh, we're not going to go prison, babe. It's just a banana. <laughs> You don't like crime? Absolutely not. Um, <sighs> Just put this back. Guys, nice, she's stealing something. She stole a banana. No, I... I haven't stolen anything. <clears throat> nope. Mm-hmm. Now, bonding is good, but criminal behaviour is bad, so yes, not a good combination. very bad. <laughs> and you know what, Charlotte? I find tea to be very, 
very relaxing. Sometimes just the thought of drinking some tea or the sound of the spoon in the cup as it stirs <laughs> is enough in. to relax. Is that why you can't That's come right. here to air me? You were badly trying to convince as you listen, to sleep with you? Forehead. You might notice the eyelids start to feel heavy. They can close. It feels good. That's right. And now I want you to notice that you have strong feelings of attraction towards me. Feel them growing in your body. Why does this work? Deep inside as you drift down deeper. Good girl. Now, whenever I touch my cup, you'll be more the fuck? and more attracted. Lag? In a second, I will wake you up as I count from one to ten. You'll slowly come back to me, feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. One, two, three, slowly coming back, feeling the wind. Four, five, six, back to your body, feeling more and more awake. Seven, eight, it's working. nine, ten. There you go, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Did you fall asleep there for a second? Were you daydreaming? Yeah. How do you feel? So obviously this is exactly the thing to do on a date. Um, if it's not going so well, or even if it is a bit of hypnosis to... Are you, can you actually hypnotise? I can. No, genuinely, can you, or...? I is... can. Definitely, do you believe me? <sighs> no. I bet you $100 I can hypnotise you. Okay, go for it. No, let's just shake on it first. Okay. And sleep. Get off. And sleep. <laughs> it obviously doesn't work and I'm now 100 bucks richer. Great. No, I didn't mean now. Do it later. But it works. But you shouldn't do it as well. Obviously not hypnotising people on a date. Even if you can do it, and even if you can't do it. I no, can do it. Either war. But I won't do it. Ease 100. <sighs> Hold up. You oh, like big surprises? Wow. Um, Check it out. Get yeah. out! Yeah. Oh, is that her? Lottie, check out this girl there. Have you seen that? Have a look. Oh, what do you she's, think? She's beautiful. Yeah, I banged her, that one. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's well good in bed as well. Amazing she? chick. Well, yeah. why don't you go and... Yeah, I think I should, actually. <laughs> I might come back, might not. Uh, I, don't know. I, I actually was being sarcastic. God, what a wanker. I what? mean... What? Arrogance is not going to get you anywhere. I've waved her. Hey, Anastasia. Hey. How are you doing? Oh, you look shit. so nice. Great dress. <laughs> How's your flower shop? How's Anna? Um, how, are you still dating that guy? Um, bye, nice to see you. Oh my gosh. What, what'd she say? She said that you got a small dick and um, you that can't think. For me, dog. <laughs> not bad move. Um, not going to end well. Not going to end well there. 
Say that it's your jealous ex and she always does that. Tell her that you, in fact, don't have a small dick. Tell her that you have a really small dick and joke about it. Tell her that you, you'll sing and if your singing is good, then it must mean your dick is huge. No. What did she say? Small? Yeah, she said that you've got a small dick and that you can't no, sing. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. It's a normal, decent size. She just, I think she was dating this guy, like a basketballer, and maybe she had <laughs> sex with a horse or something. I How don't know. big it's, is it? Compared to this, uh, that's quite a big banana, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's reminiscent of that. Is it this big? Yeah, it's about that big. Yeah, 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 yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah, because it okay. was cold that day and all that. It's not. No, it's not the. It's not super this, small. I like your honesty. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Mm. Size doesn't matter. This one might be okay. Honest. I mean, how is that okay? Being honest, you said be but honest. It's just being a little crude on a first date. I'm just not interested. No dicks. Talking generally, thank you very much. Okay. So, are you single? Yeah, I am actually. Currently single. And you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. oh shit. Um, She's playing with her head, that means she wants a D. She fancy meeting again? Uh, suggest feeding girls together, or maybe just for meet meet for a drink. Your agenda fluid. Your agenda fluid and can meet any time. Tell her that she better meet you again, or <laughs> you will kill yourself. Say your Pornhub premium is really uh, about to roll over. You'll <laughs> you'll need to buy another year if we don't get it on. We're hundred percent going to meet again because if we don't, I'm going to kill myself. So. You have to meet me. <laughs> Could I come and watch? <laughs> I love people who kill themselves. Onka Giga? Could I bring a friend? Can psycho? I love death. What were you thinking, man? Obviously, that's wrong. Yeah, of course, I can meet any time, really. I'm pretty agenda fluid when it comes to it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you like this one? Like, if you've got a kind of flexible schedule, you can say you're agenda fluid. No, I don't get it. Don't get it. No. Is it supposed to be funny? Oh, it wasn't <laughs> funny, I'm afraid. Oh, it was pretty funny. I just get the check, actually. Thanks. So what's your plans for the coming week? You busy? Um, well, I have a spa treatment. Oh, on... yeah? Just one? Yeah, well, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I have them, like, once a week. Um, I've got to get my nails ah, redone. What? Uh, I've got a shopping greens. trip, actually, with my mother. Oh, that's all so. nice stuff. What is nothing, yeah. uh, oh, I've got Pilates. Alexander? Pilates. Excellent. So, yeah. nothing strenuous or hazardous. Or... Well, the Pilates I've got $100, have a sir. That's true, actually, yeah. yeah. Bog? Could be. What is happening to me? Uh, not being alone, Pepper Hands. Go to the toilet so she needs to pay. You suggest that she pays and that you'll get the next one. Play five lights to you pays. You pay because you're a gentleman, of course. Oh, should I? Oh, no, 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 of course not. No, stop that. Let, I'll, I'll tell me if she's one of those women, My treat. Though. Thank you. And I'll put in a nice tip for the guy because he wasn't bad. It's always good to tip. Yeah, I always do. Then next time, I always they give remember the tip. you. Always. In my opinion, the man should always pay if it's his invitation. I agree, and I agree on the other hand as well, actually. If a woman has specifically invited something, you know, it's nice to... I think it's nice either or, you know, if, you, if you've invited someone to an event, it's, you know, I, don't, I think it's your place. Definitely, because you can't say, come out to this fancy restaurant with right. me. By the way, you're paying. No, but I don't mind Dutch either. <laughs> Which is splitting it. That's splitting it. Splitting. Take her number, arrange a meeting, ask if she has other study friends for different days of the week. So listen, we can meet on like, I don't know, Wednesday or something, but do you have any other slutty friends for other days of the week? Because I like to have just a lot of sluts. I'm so sorry. 
Why? Why? I'm the sluttiest of all my friends. Oh my god, that is brilliant. And even with me, you won't get a second date. What do you mean? You're not going to meet me again? Absolutely not. Oh, but you're <laughs> slutty as my dream. Yeah, I'm the biggest slut you'll find, but you're not going to have me in bed. Oh, you're just teasing me now. Mm -hmm. But I might just go back and think about what you just said and touch myself. Yeah. So at least I got that much. Delightful. <laughs> Is this sexist? Yeah, insulting. I thought so. Average show, I'm average. This is Bold. a direct... Now I can do it. I can play older Mahmoud, younger woman. Strip club? Looking for a one night stand? Comedy interlude, girl looking for a serious, rela serious relationship, girl in group of guys. Oh, you're playing the woman? Dating app coming soon, sushi restaurant. I want to play Mahmoud. <laughs> 